When a quantum physicist took God seriously, are you ready? John Polkinghorne lived at a rare crossroads. He was not a theologian speculating about science from the outside, nor a scientist casually commenting on faith. He was a frontline quantum physicist, trained at Cambridge, who later became an Anglican priest, not because he abandoned science but because science itself led him to deeper questions it could not answer alone. Polkinghorne insisted that the universe is intelligible, governed by elegant mathematical laws, and astonishingly comprehensible to the human mind. For him, this was not a coincidence. It was a clue. Why should a universe born from blind chaos obey deep rational order? Why should human consciousness be capable of understanding it? Polkinghorne argued that physics, prayer, and faith are not enemies. They are different ways of engaging the same profound mystery. A reality grounded in reason, meaning, and personal depth. In this video, we explore how Polkinghorne reframed God not as a rival to science, but as the very reason science works at all. The intelligible universe and the question science cannot answer. Polkinghorne began with a simple but unsettling observation. The universe is rationally ordered. The laws of physics are not random. They are mathematically elegant, precise, and stable across space and time. Quantum theory, relativity, and cosmology reveal a universe governed by deep symmetry and subtle coherence. But Polkinghorne asked a question modern science often avoids. Why should this be so? Physics describes how the universe behaves, but it cannot explain why the universe is intelligible in the first place. Why should abstract mathematics, created in the human mind, map so uncannily onto the structure of reality? For Polkinghorne, this fine-tuned intelligibility points beyond physics itself. It suggests that the universe is not just ordered, but intended to be understood. This does not prove God in a simplistic way, but it opens a philosophical doorway. Rationality in nature hints at a rational source, a deeper mind behind the cosmos that makes scientific knowledge possible at all. Quantum physics and the limits of reductionism. As a quantum physicist, Polkinghorne was deeply aware that reality is not the mechanical system classical physics once imagined. At the quantum level, Uncertainty, probability, and observer involvement become unavoidable. The universe is not a closed machine running on deterministic rules. It is open, subtle, and participatory. Polkinghorne rejected reductionism, the idea that everything can be explained by breaking it down into smaller parts. Quantum theory shows that wholes are not always reducible to parts, and that relationships matter as much as components. Consciousness, meaning, and freedom cannot be fully captured by equations, even though they exist within a lawful universe. Polkinghorne argued that science itself points beyond materialism. It reveals a reality that is lawful, yet open, structured, yet creative. This openness leaves room for genuine agency, including divine action, without violating physical law. God, in this view, does not compete with physics. God operates through the deep openness already woven into reality. Prayer, consciousness, and a personal depth to reality. Polkinghorne insisted that if the universe is grounded in rationality, it may also be grounded in personhood. This is where prayer enters the picture, not as a magical interruption of natural law, but has a relationship with the deeper reality that sustains those laws. Prayer for Polkinghorne is not about manipulating events. It is about communion with the ground of being, an encounter between human consciousness and the divine mind that holds the universe in existence. Just as physics explores reality through measurement, prayer explores reality through relationship. Polkinghorne argued that consciousness itself our capacity for awareness, meaning, love, and moral responsibility fits poorly into a purely material universe, but fits naturally 
within a reality grounded in mind. Prayer is therefore not irrational. It is consistent with a worldview in which consciousness is fundamental, not accidental. The act of prayer becomes a way the universe becomes aware of its own depth through human minds. God not as explanation, but as the ground of explanation. Crucially, Polkinghorn rejected the idea of God as a gap filler for what science cannot yet explain. God is not invoked where physics fails. God is the reason there is anything to explain at all. The laws of nature, the existence of mathematical truth, the emergence of consciousness, and the deep order of the cosmos all point toward a reality that is meaningful before it is measurable. Polkinghorne described God as the ground of rationality, not a hypothesis competing with scientific theories. In this vision, science and theology are partners, not rivals. Science explores how the world works, while theology asks why it exists and why it is intelligible. Reality, then, is not a meaningless accident illuminated temporarily by human minds. It is a universe grounded in reason sustained by meaning, and open to relationship. Physics becomes a path toward wonder, prayer becomes a response to intelligibility, and consciousness becomes the bridge between the human and the divine. A universe that makes sense, because it means something. John Polkinghorne offered a vision desperately needed in the modern world, one where intellectual honesty and spiritual depth are not opposites. The success of physics is not a threat to faith. It is a clue about the nature of reality itself. A universe that can be understood, explored and trusted is a universe grounded in rationality. And rationality, Polkinghorne believed, ultimately points to mind. In his view, God is not outside the universe pushing it around, but within its very intelligibility, sustaining it moment by moment. Consciousness, science, and prayer are not separate domains. They are different ways reality reflects on itself. Through Polkinghorne's lens, the deepest question is no longer, does God exist? But rather, what kind of reality allows minds to understand the universe and hearts to respond to its meaning? Before we close, we've noticed that some of you viewers are not subscribed. So, if you could do me a favor and double check if you're a subscriber to this channel, that would be tremendously appreciated. It's the simple, it's the free thing that anybody that watches this show can do to help us here to keep everything going. So please double check if you've subscribed and thank you so much. Because in a strange way, you are part of our history. And if this journey resonates with you on a deeper level, we've just launched the official Spiritual Quest merch store. Each piece is designed as a symbol, something you can wear that reflects curiosity, awareness, and the deeper questions we explore here together. If you'd like to support the work and carry the spirit of the quest with you, you'll find the link below. Thank you for being here, and for walking this path with us.